Rescue workers have discovered the bodies of two men who went missing when a South Korean fishing boat capsized last weekend. All the crew are now accounted for, including the 15 people who died. The government has promised to examine the rescue operation that ensued when the boat sank and to make improvements to those processes. Our Ji Gil has more. Prime Minister Lee nak has expressed his condolences to the families of those who lost their lives last weekend when a fishing vessel capsized after colliding with a tanker off Korea's western coast. He ordered the relevant ministries to fully look into the matter. The Oceans and Fisheries Ministry and other related ministries should reassess whether rescue plans are properly executed. And if not, come up with contingency measures to deal with such accidents. During Tuesday's cabinet meeting, Prime Minister Yi noted that safety measures for fishing vessels were reinforced in 2015 after a boat capsized off the coast of Jeju Island, killing 15 people. He stressed the importance of cooperation among related ministries to transparently assess what measures were insufficient and what measures were well executed to improve fishing boat safety. On Tuesday, the bodies of the two people unaccounted for after the collision, a captain and a fisherman, were found at a nearby beach on Yonghengdo Island. Out of the two crew members and 20 fishermen on board, the accident has left 15 people dead. Seven others were rescued. It was the worst tragedy involving a fishing boat since 2015. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.